everyone, it's Jenny at Joey and Jenny's Little Yellow House. You can find us on YouTube and Instagram at Joey143Jenny. You can also follow along with us on Facebook at Joey and Jenny's Little Yellow House. Well, uh, as I mentioned in another video, today I am starting to work on a little throw pillow for my granddaughter's bed. She at Christmas got some beautiful bedding and um, I thought I would make her a little throw pillow as an added little gift for her birthday that's coming up. And so what I've done is, let me see if I can come out just a little bit further for you. What I've done is I've gone through some of my Kathy Holden scraps and pulled out some that I thought might go well on my granddaughter's bed. And then I... We just arranged them. Um, I wanted to have more of this one, but I just, I just didn't. I thought that one would be super cute on her bed, but um, they'll all be beautiful on her bed. And I think the colors are going to work if I remember in my mind <laughs> what the color of her bed looked like. But then I also thought I would put some white sheeting in between. So what I've done is I've taken... Uh, Let's see, this is probably about two inches of white sheeting, and I just added it to the bottom of each one, and then um, I sewed a few of them together, and then I'll just flip that, sew it to this one, flip that, sew it to this one, and so forth until I, I, I get them all together. So I left this one just to show you. Um, that this is how I did it. I just added it to it. Now I'll trim these ends off. I cut it a little bit too long. Um, one thing to keep in mind is if there's any directionals, making sure as you do this that you have right side up on, like for instance, this one is those cute little birds. So make sure that those are facing the right way if you have more directional, and I think these buttons are a little bit directional, so I have everything facing going this way. With that in mind, I put the white on the bottom. Um, okay, so basically the pillow that I'm going to use is just a little throw pillow, and it's 12 by 20. I get these on Amazon. They're little um, down pillows. So the front, once this is all done, I'll trim it down to 13 wide and 21 long. That'll give me an inch seam allowance, which will be nice because after I sew, I'll probably go back and pink the edges. Um, then also what I did was I cut two pieces for the back out of the same sheeting type of fabric. And um, I just get this at, I believe I got this at Joanne, and it's it's really super soft sheet material. I think you could probably use it on the back of quilting as well. I just absolutely love it. And if you haven't ever tried it, it's great for um, dyeing as well, if you want to dye specific colors. But anyways, it's cotton. And I love the feel of it. It's super, super soft. It's the same thing that I used in the middle here, too. So for the back, I did it in two pieces because I'm going to make an envelope uh, overlap back for this pillowcase. So um, one of the backing I cut 13 by 17 and the other, the other end I cut 13 by 13. The one that I cut 13 by 13, this one here, that's the short end of the envelope um, closure on the back. Uh, I did a quarter, I, I turned under a quarter of an inch and then I ironed that down and then I turned over an inch and I ironed that down and then I just top stitched it. Okay, and that's what I'm doing, This basically the same to the back. I haven't done it yet. I turned over a quarter of an inch and I ironed it down and then I turned on this one three inches and iron it down. Now on the front of this one, I'm going to put in a different color. I did everything in white so far. I'm gonna put in a different color of thread and I'm gonna to top stitch this in just a little decorative uh, stitching on this side, just for a little added touch. You don't have to do that. 
Um, this is super simple, very easy. Uh, you don't have to have brand new fabric. If you have an old shirt and you want to make it, um, what I did was I just added, you know, a few inches here and, a, and, and there just to be able to have that overlap. But you could easily take the 13 by 21 and double that and just have a regular slip-in pillowcase. Uh, you would still have enough to turn under and do the top stitch all the way around uh, where you slide your pillow in. So you don't have to do uh, the envelope back, but I wanted to do that um, as a kind of a finished uh, pillow to put on the top of her bed. So anyways, I'm gonna pause here and I'm going to sew this together real quick like I showed you here. I'm going to go ahead and attach these. Hopefully the pause works. If it doesn't, I'll come back and it'll be a, another part to the video. But I'm going to sew this together. And then I'm going to go ahead and top stitch that back flap. And then I'll come back and we'll assemble. Um, again, if this, not if my video doesn't work, but if um, Jenny doesn't work right, <laughs> I'll be back um, with another video. So I'm going to pause real quick and um, we'll give it a try. Okay, I'm back everyone. So what I've done is I stitched all of this together. It really didn't take long at all. I think I was paused for maybe four minutes. It, it's lickety split when you have it all, you know, laid out in the right order. Um, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to iron the seams and trim, I'm gonna trim these edges then what I'll do is I will find the center by folding it in half. I'll find the center by folding it in half because I've measured everything. All the other ones you can see are matching. Okay. And then I'm going to um, take my final measurement for the length of the pillow once I get it ironed. So it should be 24 the pillow but 21 inches total to allow for the seam allowance so um what i'm gonna do is i like to i got out my big gun um iron because my little guy wasn't my little one that i keep in in the studio wasn't doing doing it good enough for me um but what i like to do is i like to iron the seam towards the darkest fabric. So I'm going to do that. And I do want to tell you that I am going to do this in a two part, uh, because, um, I want to show you the back, how to do the back. And I didn't get, I didn't get that top seam allow or that top stitch done with the, um, the colored, thread that I was going to do. So I'm going to, I, I want to do that, but I'm going to do it off camera because you know how much this camera shakes and with me bumping everything and sewing is, is not helpful, um, on this desk. Uh, also another reason that I'm going to do a second video is because instead of pausing and continuing on is a little bit of real life interruption type of thing. I earlier today had put on Facebook Marketplace some um, some items and I think everybody is getting off work right now and they are pinging me nonstop and um I think it's going to interrupt the video a little bit. So look how nice that looks when you do that. And then I just come back and um, again, I just press towards the darkest. Isn't that sweet? What'll be so nice is um, I always love to give my children and my grandchildren something from Kathy. You know, fa her fabric. Oh, and my mom, too. I like to make her stuff, too. Um, you know, so that they have... They have some of her things too. I think they. I think my granddaughter is just gonna find this super fun to know that Aunt Kathy. Uh, it's her fabric. So, all right. So I've got this nice and ironed, and I'll probably fiddle with it for a minute or two, and I'll measure it out. Like I said, finding the center, and then measuring 21 inches, 
and give it a nice trim. And then when I come back, when we go to the next section, we're going to um, start to put the two sides together. We'll put that envelope together on the next video. All right. Well, thank you so much for joining. Don't forget that we pray blessings over all of you. And you are so loved. I hope you enjoy the rest of the day knowing how much you're loved. We'll talk soon. Thank you.